Welcome to our ADM Lucid Automation Testing channel. We will have a series of talk about Selenium Automation Testing, which will help you better understand the basics of Selenium and also guide you to build your step-to-step -step project. You may access our test project and step-by-step -step guide to build your own test project in the description. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for any new videos and updates. In our next few videos, we will show you how to design your own web testing project. Here, I have the website that we want to test. Some of the functionalities that we want to test include adding your own golf course, where you can fill in the information and create a golf course here, booking a golf course, which can be done by clicking book golf course or clicking details and clicking book. This website also has functionality such as searching where you can search a golf course, uh, as well as filtering by country. When we design our own web testing project, we may need to think about code reuse, application reboots, easily integrating features to be tested, configuring the environment to handle changes, and creating nice format reports. When setting up our test project, here are some of the following considerations. First, what we will be using. In our case, we're going to be using Selenium Java Maven. There are other automation testing frameworks such as Cypress and other programming languages such as C Sharp, Python, but this time we're going to be using this. Next, page object models. So these are classes of web elements, source codes, and tests. As previously discussed in our old videos, we showed that this has great benefit. We also have to consider the use of multiple web browsers such as Chrome, Edge, Firefox, and so on. This is because we know that users will access the website using different web browsers. So as a result, we may need to test the different web browsers separately or concurrently, and our design should allow for us to switch between the web browsers easily. There are also some configuration considerations. For example, we need to store a configuration data into a configuration file. So we can change one line code to cover changes for the project. We can often store URLs, usernames, and passwords in this configuration file. We also need to consider test execution. For example, users may want to run tests from IntelliJ or the command line. When designing, we need to consider these requirements. Screenshots. When automation tests fail, we want to know which step failed and why it failed. We design automation tests to take screenshots for the failed steps web and web elements and store them and insert them into HTML format report so we can look at it later. We also need to know, consider HTML format reports. In our project that we'll be showing, we will use Extent Reports, which contains lots of automation test running information, past or failed tests, for instance, also past or failed test steps, execution times of the tests, and execution time of each step as well. Now we will show you how to create the general framework of this project. First, when you open up IntelliJ, you want to create your project by creating new, clicking project, and then clicking Java and Maven. Make sure to name your project and choose its proper location. So here we have a freshly made project. What you want to first do is you want to go to your palm.xml file and you want to insert any dependencies that you will be using. In our project here, I'm going to paste over some dependencies that we will be using. So here we see these are the dependencies that we'll be using. 
We have Selenium Java, we have JUnit, Cucumber, which are all things that we discussed previously in our old videos. One thing new we see is we see extent reports. This is going to be used to create the HTML reports for our test. Now, after we do this, we want to first create a few packages. So to, to create packages in IntelliJ, what we can do is we can go here and we can right click and then we can create new package. The first package we're going to be creating is the config package. We're going to name it config and then press enter. Let us create a few more packages. Controller. Manager. Report. Util. And finally, web element. What we're going to do is we're going to create classes within each packages individually. But first, I just want to create this general framework so you can see. Now I will walk you through each of these packages. First, let's start with config. I'm going to paste over a file into this config package. So this is just a text file. And if we open it up, what we see in this config file is we have our URL, which is the website we want to test. We have our usernames, passports, uh, passwords, as well as some different screenshots and download locations. So this config file, later on, we can put more information into it, uh, depending on the configurations we need for our project. Next, let us look at the controller file uh, package. So I'm going to paste over some classes. So the first class I'm going to paste is a base class. So this class basically contains some functions that we are going to be very commonly using. And this class will contain these functions and allow other classes to call these functions so they can be re re reused. This is really good for code reuse and keeping our code nice and clean. Next, we're going to copy a booking class. Uh, and this class basically allows us to book a golf course on our website. And for each of these classes, uh, we will fill it in as we uh, work through this project in our future videos. Next, I'm going to paste a golf class. And this class in the future, we're going to fill it out so that it allows us to create a golf course on the website. Finally, in this package, we're also going to paste a login class and this will allow us to log in on our website next let us look at the package manager so i'm going to paste a class called screenshot and basically this class screenshots whenever our test fails so later on when we're looking back we can see what part of the test failed and we can try to fix anything that happens. Later on in this package, we're also going to be creating other classes such as test manager and UI manager, but those will be in future videos. For this video, I'm just going to be showing you the very basic framework of our project. Next, uh, in report package, I'm not going to add anything right now, but in the future, any HTML reports, it will be found in this package. Uh, yeah, right here. Next, for the util package, I'm going to be pasting load, which is a class. And this class basically loads the web page. So in our previous video, we talked about thread.sleep, which basically allows our, our automation test project to wait until web elements load on the website. 
And this basically, this class allows us to reuse, reuse this uh, function. And finally, for our web element package, we have several different classes. So the first class we have is booking, which we'll later put in some uh, web elements for uh, booking a golf course on our website. We we'll also have a uh, golf class. And in this class, we'll also put web elements for creating a golf course on our website. And we also have a login class, which later for our uh, in our project, we'll put different web elements for logging in onto our website. And so this is just the basic and general framework of this project. In the future parts of our video, we're going to be filling in each of these classes so that we can have a complete project that will test the website from start to finish. Thank you for listening. Please tune back for our next few videos. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like and subscribe. Thank you.